Yeah. So like when I when I was learning to play changes in the first place, I did not know what to do, you know? And I was like finding roots. Like A minor, I'd go, well here's an A. And it's minor, so this is my minor versus my major. And I'd be like minor. And I go next D. And where's my D? Oh, here's a here's a D. Okay. Where's F sharp? Well, let's see, here's my G. That's F sharp. It was like it was like that bad. I mean it was like not you know, I was making music, but I didn't care. I wanted to play the right notes, you know? So it's like, okay, these are correct. This, oh, here's a, and here's a D actually. I could do this. And then here's G, which is actually next. And then here's C. Where's my C? Well, here's my C chord. So I know this is a C. And when the F sharp minor, blah, 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 blew my mind. Well, F sharp minor, that's all I need to know, F sharp minor. So I'd be like, Uh, open B string. Just wait for it to end. And then E comes around. Oh, E. But you know what I mean? So it's like, if I'd done that for... Like, I'm used to playing... So, like, once I... And then, and then I'd look back, you know, and start over, and I would take, like, when I knew what I was doing, I'd go, like, A minor. Oh, yeah. You know, bloop, 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 bloop. And then D7, it's like, oh shit. Uh, D is third. And then G comes around. I'm even more screwed because it's not even dominant. So I'd be like, you know, like that kind of thing. And I just took a, I, I basically what I got, what I got, you know, better at over time was finding the roots. So like if I was going to play a C, the C major seven comes next. I didn't have to do this. I didn't have to do this. Or these, I could do this, but I could also do this. And kind of the blind spot was in those middle strings where you knew the low ones real well because that's where you started your power, your bar chords and stuff. And you knew the high ones real well because the high string was the same as the low E string. There's kind of like this real mystery land of the D and G string. Well, I could do C here, you know, and then I could go to the F sharp. And then I started to incorporate the other notes. Like if I saw my F sharp in my mind here, you know, instead of being like just roots, then and then E. And I'd be playing like that, you know? Um, I could see the other notes, like, uh, well, let's get a fifth in there. And I could be like... A. D. G. C. F sharp. F flat five. And I thought, well, if I can do those, I know I can add a nine. I can add a two to any of them. Because it doesn't have that problem where you conflict. So I could be like. You know? And I was putting a natural two on the on the uh, F sharp half diminished because that's from uh, Super Locrian. Um, which is a melodic minor mode. Um, and uh, what was next? Oh, B. You know? Just like that. And then I was like, well, you know what? I'm doing in this spot too much. I need to find somewhere else. So I'll start A here. Uh, but I don't know where my fifth is because I can't go higher to it. And I had a problem with that, you know? So I just do that. And then the D. And then G. And then C. And I go, oh, panic. I just go up there if I have to. F sharp rolls around. Then I got, well, wait. This is my E because I tune here. So F, F sharp, I can do F sharp here, and then B, and then E, because I knew E from the tuning, you know? So I just, I took it like that. Anyway, I recommend doing that. Um, yeah, it's just playing whack-a-mole, kind of. It's just a game. And, and then you can start kind of being musical without being awesome, you know, like... If you don't know every scale, you don't know how to superimpose everything over everything, whatever. You got A minor, and you know, to D, to G, 
to C. To F. To B flat. Sorry, B. To A. So what I did there was I basically started off thinking the way um, I would I would have thought in the beginning. And then I over the course of it, I started to evolve into a little bit the way I started to think later on. So like examples would be where I'm playing A, I'm thinking A minor. D comes around, I think of my D shape and survive it by playing those notes. That's just the, the notes, you know? And I go, okay, well I can play the roots too, obviously. Blues. I know I can do that. Then the G major rolls around. Play it safe. I just went to a triad. Which I had to learn that shape. You already know it, but I had to learn it at the time. And then to the C major, I started thinking, that's when I kind of started changing. Like, well, I could do Lydian. You know? That's the note. That makes a difference. And then I was like, oh, there's my F sharp. And there I'm, I'm think, I actually think about melodic minor, but I'm not playing, I'm playing notes that are basically from that low cream pentatonic. To, um, uh, to the B7, and I thought it's functioning, I'll do altered. To the E minor. Anyway, so that's that's kind of a, a thought process to go through when you're practice practicing that. Cool?